Oh wait, you can hear us? Yep. You might have a little bit of it. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Can I say one more thing in regards to all that? Yeah. I wonder, is that like kind of a loophole, you know, to make it to where they can sit there and not notify me and rack up a bill because I'm supposed to trust my tenant that he's paying because how would I ever know that he's paying or not paying? Is there a, a loophole? You know what I'm just saying? To be able to rack up a bill without my knowledge, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like I should have been notified if that was the deal or whatever. So, yeah. Well, going forward, we'll we'll let you know. We'll have yeah. your your information. Well, I mean, there. like I said, I'll leave it in my name to make make yeah. sure it's getting paid, but yeah. and have it sent to my house instead of their house. Okay. So I don't have to ask them for it or whatever. It just seems like a a flaw in the system to be able to sit there and I have to trust my tenant that he's telling me the truth that he paid his water bill. Because otherwise, I don't have any proof. Yeah. You know so. I feel that's another issue that I need to bring in there to defend myself because if I would have known, I would have told you guys to shut it off. Yeah. I had no idea. So oh. as soon as I found out, I was down here. So. Yeah. No. We'll, All right. we'll, we'll discuss it then and we'll, we'll, we'll give you an answer. So. All right. Thanks. Sorry, Salvi. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you're sorry about that, you can go ahead. Um, is this one where you... Is this one where if it is awarded, you could still turn it down? When there's no no harm in applying. Yeah. I just know I don't have two twenty five to mm -hmm. spend right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, then don't even. Yeah. That's just the thing. Yeah. Um, we might have to put a hold on it for right now. I think, Sophie. Maybe see if we can't get creative on some fundraising for it coming up. Because you said June's the next application, right? Yeah. 
Está ok, güey. And that alternative grant, that was the one that we're going to not necessarily use right away. We got five years, so we're going to kind of budget ourselves here for the next three years to to pay for that one. So, I don't know, is that good with you guys, table in the yeah, uh, same room? Okay. Yeah. The funds aren't there. No. I mean, it'd be nice to get it, but... When it was that first round, when it was free, it was like, yeah, it was really nice when it was free money. <laughs> okay. You want to go anything with that alternative grant? Okay. Yeah, we have to give some. <clears throat> Presentations. Are there any notes that you guys want or key points that I should bring up tomorrow on that? I know I'm going to talk about, you know, how some of the other later, you know, some of the sidewalks are pretty bad, so they can get hurt. We've had a couple injuries. Is there talk anything else? Wheel, wheelchair access to other <clears throat> businesses. Yeah. I mean, we don't have any. The only one we have now is the, well, one of the post office and they. Seth had heard that some of the elderly are tripping on that one also, okay. so. That'd be a big thing to hit home with the ADA compliance year or whatever how long they pronounce that. Limited mobility people with walkers or with canes that yep. are stuck on those. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And like Weston said too, the exposed aggregate in front of old Bergies is, yep. you need to get rid of that too, so. You guys have any other key points that you want me to bring up tomorrow? Okay. No. I think just drive home the safety aspect. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do we have? Like a what is it? Like a fifteen minute presentation, twenty minute slide, or what is? It? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Yep. So. Okay. All right. Have any other questions for Sophie at all? Anything else to add there, Sophie? No, thanks for jumping on tonight. So, okay, we'll move on to minutes. Will you be imposing cost share with the businesses that you're going to be repairing? Well, we thought about doing that to help with our cost since it's a 20. We have to come up with 20 percent. Our the businesses would, would be, be doing a portion of it. Have you figured out what portion they would cover? We haven't. Yeah, we're kind of waiting to see what if we get the a full 80, 20. I mean, that's really going to come down to what that will be. Oh, how big is the grant? 600. 600 thousand. So. And then we're applying for this, the other grant that goes alongside that one too. Um, we'll be doing some water mains, replacing the water mains also since we got everything tore up. And I want to get your too, then all that at the same time too. So. <laughs> we'll pretty much be ripping up our new road <laughs> that we put one. down. But. It's one of these words on this paper. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was a fairly new road. I know. Well, we had, we, we had to though. I mean, people were getting hurt. I mean, we already had one person trip and fall and yeah, yeah those elbow. those curbs are what almost a foot tall ugly yeah yeah so that's the same can't really like 
Maybe we didn't really want to spend that money, but. So I sent yeah, there. Yeah, because I I saw that they weren't in the packet, but then they I they were in the so. they were in the updated packet for the night one yeah. email. You guys see it at all? What are we looking for? Minutes. Oh, no, I just sent out the word documents of the so. You can get them in the first one. Just the minutes from last time or what? It's the, you see, I just sent one out too. The email. So, yeah. You're using the wrong email code. Yeah, that's where my stuff is. Because right? mm -hmm. you should be using the uh, the Outlook one. So. Mm -hmm. All right, I got them. Just sent them over to you. Is that your personal email that you're using? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? I had them in the updated one. Okay. Mm -hmm. you send them yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. Can I buy those for a second? I have at her. <laughs> I'll like just leave it here for you. Too. We should just leave them all here. <laughs> Learn names on them. She can update them. everything. Oh, I have a long day. Because here's the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Right here should be the minute. Yeah. And there's two, two of them there, so... Okay. Three minutes, but that's two packets. This is October 21st. That's cool. Uh, I'd say there's two of them. There's a little bit of No. No. I had a few issues when I got home. Okay. I think I have a video. I think I have a video. That's the first one we have to do. Yeah. This one? Yeah. It doesn't have the minutes in it. You got the minutes up there? I've got mine. Thanks. Anybody else want to talk about this? Yeah. No, we're good. Good.
Okay. <clears throat> Conversation concerned about the minutes. There's another doc for the minutes. There's two. We've got three. Um, unless this is just the. This is just that first for the minutes. I guess we can make a motion to approve all three. The other two do not have really anything. Terrorist measurements. Um, handicap parking, H A N D Y cap, and then a space. It's down towards the end. Probably should change that. Okay. See that? Yep. Okay. I got marked. Our park and rec, we just need to capitalize Corey's name. Capitalize what in park and rec? Um, under park and rec, I just, oh. is Corey McDonald, just a C. Okay. <clears throat> and public works too, there's how the need, which should be how we need our new check valve for the lift station. Or the need for whatever we want to however we want to do that. Okay, we'll put it in like that. And under city administrator and municipal finance officer should be getting paid. Under Seth Sando discuss getting paid. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Nick, all three or second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Sorry, Brandon, I kind of skipped through you. You should do it in your public time. Come on. Come in here, You're up. Go ahead. No, we're good. We've had minutes done, so we'll go back. I didn't know I was on the agenda. No, well. I was just going to fly under the radar. <laughs> uh, I'll keep it brief, I promise. Uh, Brandon Lane with Sioux Valley Energy, um, Economic Development and Community Relations. And so, um, long story short, um, Sioux Valley Energy did some... Uh, community dialogue sessions in regards to South Dakota, Minnesota back in October, I believe, of last year. And a lot of the responses that we got from our service territory was um, limited resources. And when I say limited resources, it elected officials, mayors, finance officers, uh, for the most part, you guys have full-time jobs during the day. And so it's hard to really make some calls in regards to grant um, applications. Um, just flipping over some rocks to see if we can't find some money 
um, or get you guys in the right hands. And so I started um, early March, no, March, no, May actually. So there'll be about six, seven months. Um, so I'm here just to kind of get a pulse on your guys' community. You know, if, if there's anything you guys need in regards to whether it's strategic planning, helping um, Sophie in regards to finding some other grant dollars, uh, anything of that nature, we want to be able to help provide for you guys. And so you guys have been gracious to allow uh, Jay and I, and again, I think uh, Jay and Jesse are working on some marketing materials, but anything in regards to that to push your guys' needle forward is, is we just want to be able to provide um, that opportunity with either me, Jay, Jesse, and Sophie. And so I commend you guys to see where you guys are, are, are pushing the boundaries and moving forward. Uh, there's a lot of communities out there that aren't quite where you guys are at, so so kudos. Yep. Um, Thank you. They are, they are helping with Jesse doing a promotional video for the development and Colton and all that also. So um, I'd like to help with the uh, HB 1033, but unfortunately, none of us are uh, in the legislation, so uh, we can continue to, to kind of use our resources in regards to that. But I hope we have an answer maybe sometime yeah, that, spring of next year. Yeah. Dakota, Fingers gonna, crossed. I, I don't think I've really got them up to date on oh, that. Oh, that's yet. okay. We had the South Dakota Housing Authority money that we asked for um, the development. Um, everything's on hold now because of legislation. So we don't know whether we're sitting at. I mean, nobody knows where anybody is sitting at at this point. Nobody's time, got so. a. Nobody's got approved. Nobody's got denied. It's just. I think they're pretty much trying to figure out if it's legally how if they're distributing the money correctly. Or, well, some of the different wording was in regards to it going through the South Dakota Housing Authority and their, and their ability to relinquish those funds. A lot of the times you hear affordable housing, workforce housing, affordable housing. I, I want to be PC and hit all of them. Um, and so that is, is one of the hiccups is, is they're trying to say, are they allowed to be able to do that? And so some of it could be self-interest. I stay out of that. Um, but it's just disappointing right now that there are a handful of um, opportunities and developments ready to take off right now and we need it in this region but unfortunately again it's on hold and so you know those are things that we've kind of helped uh trevor look into is is, is different funding sources if, if you yeah. go through read or whatever that looks like to, to continue to push this forward so yeah cool. you guys been a good backer to have oh okay, thank so. you for letting me crash your party <laughs> <laughs> uh if there's really anything that i can do um questions anything you guys have please reach out if i don't know the answer i promise that i'll be able to find it and get back to you guys are you good with technology <laughs> <laughs> uh, deadly enough is that good is that... <laughs> i have an it department <laughs> we pay a lot more than so, me to we'll maybe send them in here for like one night <laughs> uh jay though on the other hand uh I send him up here. He's he's really good. He works in TV stations in his past life, so he's uh, he's who I lean on. <laughs> um, with that being said, too, Jay wants a couple of people to give a couple interviews through that promotional video. Does anybody want to speak or be on that? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll rush to it. Told the. Uh, Riley, since she couldn't come tonight, we not made her too. But... What's Jay's last name? Buckles. B U C H H O L Z. Thank you. And when you when you were saying Jesse, was that Hawker? Yes, ma'am. So, now you wanna be interviewed? Talk about your town a little bit. I don't even know how long. I don't even know what kind of questions. Do you even know what Jason I'm kind of asking? You know, normally on average, they want to keep it about a two to three minute clip. Yeah. And so he's he's really good at editing. I promise. I, he gets me in front of the camera all the time. I can't stand it. But um, he does he does a really good job. So I wouldn't be nervous doing the interviews. If that helps. Otherwise, you guys going to draw straws. I'm guessing your interview is going to be like 30 seconds or yeah. less. You know, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Deal. So. Yeah, I'll volunteer with you, I guess. Okay. I don't even know how many Jay wants, so. so on average, you'll take about, you know, three, four different questions. Probably run it twice, and he's out your here. Yeah. 